My husband is on the hunt for his dream car. Yeah, if you see the bag there, you might recognize it if this is a brand that you've purchased. The whole philosophy behind Quiet Luxury. Look at all the blush tones in there. I really, really wanted to try it, and I kept looking, I thought, I'm gonna wait for sale, but they sent it to me. Good morning, we are headed to go car shopping today. Sorry if there's some noise, the car, we're driving on the freeway right, freeway right now. My husband is on the hunt for his dream car. Would you call this car quite luxury or not? Here he says. It is pre-owned, but probably not considered quite luxury. So I think it's not either. I think the brand can be. It's a Porsche, we're looking for a Porsche. Analogy, if, if it's a color of a Skittle in a Skittles bag, it might not be understated. It may not be quiet. And he worked really hard for it and has done a really good job of saving. And Almost 60 years later. Good job. We're gonna see three different versions of this car today. We're also gonna go eat at a restaurant in Beverly Hills. So we're gonna go ahead and have a little day out today and maybe find a car. because it was actually a Ferrari dealership that we were in and they had some amazing, I wish I could have taken video, uh, amazing cars. I think there was a paint that was, how much was it, 30,000 just for the paint? I've never seen a paint like that. It was yellow and it had like a multi-layered metallic and then it had a like a blue racing stripe thing and then they had a, what was that, a Monza? Some kind of a 3.7 million dollar car. car. Uh, but then we go back to the reality GT3, which is still a very, very, very nice car. And by the way, the salesperson 
Also very good. Nick, thank you, Shout Nick. Shout out to Nick. Really good salesperson. And tell us your thoughts on that car. I was contestant number three, and three is my favorite number. <laughs> and it played out once again. I think that's the winner. So we think three is the winner. Hit all the marks. It had more miles on it, but it was in really, really good condition. And it has a great warranty. It has a great warranty. Very important. And I don't think there was anything you didn't... Oh, traffic's... I don't think there was anything you didn't like about this car. It had a few blemishes and wear and tear items that they said they would um, uh, repair yes. before it's delivered. Yes. So, just need to negotiate the price a little bit and we'll see if you end up with this one. But yep. they're kind of hard to come by. Cars. Looking at a lot of cars, a lot of traffic here in LA. Pretty Woman fans, here's the hotel. I really was sure. Turning on to Rodeo Drive. Ah, Brunello Cuccinelli. <laughs> Some SPF. I picked up a lot of SPF recently, so we've seen this one in action, the Soleil Toujours, which actually wore this morning. I came home and washed my face so we could do this together. But I also picked something up that you recommended. This is the ISDN photo, and then I saw Dr. Lee talk about it as well. This is a broad spectrum SPF 50, and this is the tinted version. It's designed for photo aging defense. 100% mineral sunscreen and water resistant up to 40 minutes. Zinc oxide is the active ingredient here and it's 10.7%. Here's an option. I actually have been trying this and I like that it's not greasy at all. Some of the other SPFs have like a greasier element to them. This one also is, maybe I could try side by side for you, the Dr. Brandt Liquid Sun Shield, which I had on in a video. Do we want to see this then? Maybe we want to see this one. Maybe. And then I also picked up, because I haven't done this one yet, but I've shown videos for these two at some point. Found this stick. It's the Salt and Stone, and it seems like a really small company. It's got SPF 50, water resistant up to 80 minutes. So this is a tinted stick. So I've actually been carrying this in my um, in my bag with me. And I have this little clear bag. This one right here, and I've been carrying some SPF with me. This one has been living in here. I need another one so I can keep one here and then one in my bag and then also this new Merit product which I've been loving. It's the one in Le Doux. Let's put a little of that on right now. It just really kind of brightens up the face but is sheer at the same time. I really like this. Okay, so let's try this one, the ISDIN photo, ISDIN photo. I like this because it is designed for photo aging defense which is kind of what I'm dealing with. So you do have to shake this well. Very fluid. And here's the tone, and it's warmer, which I like. So we'll just put a little on for now. This one might be my favorite texture so far, just because it does really absorb nicely and it has a warmer hue to it. So in order for me to wear less makeup, I've gotta have skin as in good condition as possible. NSPF really helps to maintain the progress that I've made, especially up here. So we're going to let that settle in for a minute. We're going to go in with a total eye by Color Science. And this is in uh, the medium shade. 
for concealer of sorts is we're going to go over that with the salt and stone spf 50. i like to keep this in my bag so i can reapply it easily especially when i get in the car or things like that i'm just using this where i would normally use concealer and then let's see if we can take care of these dark spots without concealer and go in with just some more SPF. We've got the Color Science Blush Stick, and this is in blush. And then let's go in with eyebrows. I'm going to go in with the Dior Show Onset Brow first, and then let's fill in really strategically. So we're going to go for a very simple, no makeup makeup look. And this is very similar to how I get ready on a daily basis is very fast. If I have five minutes to uh, get my face ready for the day, I can actually get ready in five minutes. Going a little bit slower here just for demonstration purposes. But these are my key elements. So this is like the SPF version of Quiet Luxury Beauty. Very minimal, quick, easy. Yeah, my brows are in pretty good shape. Like that's just brow gel. I do have the Victoria Beckham pencil on the way. It seems delayed in shipping. I was able to order it from Bergdorf Goodman with free shipping. Cause I know if you order off the Victoria Beckham site, you have to order a certain amount. I didn't feel like I really needed to try anything else at this point. So I didn't want to order something I didn't need just for free shipping. Although I've done that before. Uh, but I went ahead and ordered that it's on the way so by the time this goes up hopefully it'll be here and i was thinking it looked too warm so this pencil i'm using here is the high def brow pencil by revitalash and it's in cool brown which i appreciate because i need a cooler toned uh, pencil um we could do some powder i think i need powder but let's do eyes really fast i'm going to take this i love the victoria beckham in pecan for this so that looks pretty um, dark, but then I just do this. And we'll just get some really easy. Really easy definition in there. And this will stay. And then some of you may not have to powder, but I do have to powder. So let me just do that right now. Perfect blur powder. Oh, and this shirt, by the way, is my husband's shirt that I borrowed from him. But I do have a really good recommendation for, uh, I was just noticing one of the other shirts he gave me is from Suit Supply. And it's a really nice cut because it's a fitted, more um, sport cut, slim, slim cut. Uh, and so it's oversized, but it's not super baggy either. So it works really well if you wanna use it as an oversized white shirt. Just gonna seal the edges here. Oh, this does have SPF, by the way. Actually, let's add a little, just, just a little bit. If you notice, I did apply the over powder, which this seems to do fine with. So um, it's just kind of like trial and error to see what works well over powder or not. It's like a rule that I break all the time. I was applying cream products over powder. I'm going to take a little bit of this um, Valentino, though, just to perfect a little bit more. Just to get a little glow. And then we're going to take a bit of this Chanel, I'm glad I found this, the Sculpting, this one right here, and just apply it here on my eyelids for a little glow. Then I'm going to add some mascara. Mascara does make all of the difference with my eyes at least, and I didn't add eyeliner or anything. I went in with the I used the Tower 28 that so many of you love, so thank you for letting me know because uh, I love my Chantecaille mascara and for anything to come close to that is a big deal. So Tower 28, really nice. I'm going to go in with this though, the Chantecaille uh, anti-aging face tint as my bronzer today. So this is the shade 106 BK Beauty. And I'm choosing this because it just really melts so nicely into the skin. Oh yeah, by the way, I decided on a car. And it's arriving today. My husband's literally sitting on the porch waiting for it to be delivered. And then let's add a little bit more of this Merit product. Oh, there's one thing I want to do. Hold on. I want to take a little bit of the Le, Le, Le Camouflage Stilo and just brighten. 
Then we're going to do some unboxing here in a moment. And I did purchase something that I'm not sure actually fits under Quiet Luxury or not. I don't know. You'll let me know. I know many of you are probably really familiar with this brand. I've not purchased anything until now. And now I'm kind of down the rabbit hole with that brand. So let's go ahead to some unboxing. Yeah, let me know if you've tried that SPF. I know, like I said, it was a recommendation from you. And then I saw it on Dr. Lee. And then I think I found a discount for it. So let me see if I can find a discount code for you. But we are going to go ahead and open some items. So there's one thing I saw on Instagram. I think that's how I stumbled upon it. Yeah, if you see the bag there, you might recognize it if this is a brand that you purchase. So the brand is Jenny Kane. And Again, let me know. I feel like the aesthetic is quite luxury. I mean, it's elevated basics if it's under that category. And then time will tell if it is something that will last for years and years and years. From what I read, it seems like the pieces do last for years. Uh, and that's my hope too, is that the quality is high enough that they do last for years. So I'm gonna try this out and see, but I bought one thing and it led to a couple of other things. And also let me know your experience with these pieces because I have a feeling this is a popular brand amongst viewers here. This is the first thing that I bought because it's blue uh, and then I liked the cut. So I have the build where I can wear very drapey, flowy clothes and I'm taller and my frame is a little bit more athletic. So. Not that I'm, I'm not athletic, but my build is athletic. So I can wear things like that and it works really well. I also heard that they run large or larger. So this is the dress. It's a really pretty blue tone. It's got more um, red in it than say this shirt. So I'll try this on and it's got spaghetti straps here. I liked that it had pockets. I liked that. I liked that the um, straps are adjustable in the back and they don't look itchy, they're metal. So that's good because sometimes when they're plastic, they'll break over time. But I do hope these are pretty durable because that's the only thing that I think could break on something like this. And it's got lining also, and the cotton feels really soft. So that's what I started with. So I started off, of course, up want to try this on. I waited to open it with you. It's been sitting here a couple days. So I've got this and I found a coupon code for this. I think also if you sign up, you get 15% off on your first purchase, which is, which is what I did here. But then I like to scour the internet for more coupons. So I'll try this on for you. And then I liked how they styled it. So they had it with some slides, but the slides had some structure to them. It almost looked like origami on the front. And then I saw some Bottega slides that I thought would fit with it. It's kind of like a puffier shape on the front. And I like the tone, like a richer brown tone. And then I went back to the shoes on Jenny Kane and looked at them. I thought they were very cute. And I showed them to my sister. She thought they were very, uh, very good shape something unique, so I went with those. And I found, like I said, another uh, coupon code for that, because I had already used my first, like the Hello 15 or whatever it was. Then I ordered these next. And it says, we believe in design quality and living well every day. And I think that's the whole philosophy behind Quiet Luxury is really just um, getting the most out of every day. And for me, part of that is very comfortable clothing. And they come with a shoe bag like this. This is not sponsored by Jenny Kane. So this is a shoe right here. So what I liked is that it has this structure here and it does remind me a little, I mean, it's not the same um, design as the Bottegas, but it has this structure here in the front, which I think is unique. I wish they did this in a warmer, like a cognac brown. I think that would look really pretty with the dress, but that's what I ended up with. I looked all over and all over and then I finally said, let me just get the ones that are in the picture. And then there was this third item in the photo that I thought I can probably find a dupe for that because I thought for the price, it was a high price for what it was. But then I really looked at the shape of it and kind of how it draped. And then I looked and looked and looked and I couldn't find anything. And then I thought, oh my gosh, I'm gonna end up getting the Jenny Kane cardigan. <laughs> and I found another coupon, or maybe it was the same coupon, and so I was able to apply it to this as well. So this is the third thing I got. And of course, now I'm looking at something else. I'm looking at the raw silk pants because I like the flowy nature of them. I like silk. I like raw silk. It's soft and it's uh, like a more matte, not matte, but it's not shiny at all. So that might be next on my list. Let me know if you have those. But this to me, the price seemed quite high for what it was, it's a cardigan. And I ordered a large, and now I think maybe I ordered two large because I like things oversized, especially a cardigan. 
but let's see. And I liked everything about this. I liked that it was a shaker in it. I liked that it had these light brown buttons. And I liked the drapey nature because it's a cocoon shape. And that's really hard to find. I'm afraid it's going to be too wide. So let me just, I'm going to try these on. And then I'll do some close-ups for you later. But I really just want to try the whole thing on and see how it goes. I love this dress. It's a slightly bigger than I probably could have taken a small, but I do like that it's roomy because I don't like things that are too tight. Plus it's like a, an oversized dress anyway. I'm not looking for something super fitted. See, it has spaghetti straps like this and I like how it comes in close here. Well, of course it's adjustable too in the back, but I think the cut is good right here. And then this cardigan, I think I may have ordered too large. It's gonna have to be something that I style correctly because I think with this dress and I'll show you a couple of views like if I put it behind and put my hands in my pocket it looks fine but if I put it just on the sides wear it on the sides just open there's so much extra fabric in the hip area just because of the cut of this dress and then if you have this lay right next to it it really um, emphasizes that area which <laughs> is I guess a look but it's probably not the most flattering but I do want to try this with other um, just like my shorts and other things like, oh yeah, I got some silk shorts. I want to try it with that. Um, so I do love the coziness of this. It really feels like I'm wearing pajamas and that is my whole thing. <laughs> I love the feeling of wearing pajamas, but also looking put together, but I also have to make sure I'm not looking like I'm wearing pajamas if that makes sense. But I think it's really sweet. And then the shoes, very cute. I love the shoes too. They're really soft. So no breaking in here. So if you were looking at these, they are very soft. One of the softest sandals I've picked up and they do have them in black also. And I wish, like I said, they had them in like a cognac. I think that would be pretty. Let's see if I can find something like it. And then also that Neely Lotan belt. I actually um, emailed the company because I featured it recently and it was a favorite. I love that belt. It's a perfect belt. They have a dark brown, which I'll be picking up. And then in some of the images, there's like a lighter brown. So I emailed them to see if that was something that they would be carrying in the future. I didn't know if it was an older uh, one that they used to have and they no longer carry, but I really like that one. Plus, I also found one with a silver buckle, silver tone buckle, if that's something you're interested in. Very me. This whole thing is very me. And I never buy something that is featured do I? I rarely buy anything that's featured together, like a dress with a cardigan with the shoes in the ads. I rarely do that. Um, but I do like the drapey nature of this knit because I think there's a, something else besides cotton that's giving it the weight. Otherwise, the cotton would probably be more of like puffy versus drapey. Very happy with these purchases. So of course, like I said, I'll show close-ups if I haven't already. So I think you can see here has the potential to have a lot of extra fabric and I probably could have gone down a size, but I really like the spacious feel of this. So what I've read is a little bit about Jenny Kane sizing me a bit oversized. I agree with that because sometimes the medium is snug on me, um, but this medium is probably fits more like a large wood. And then I love the shoes, they're so cute. So I'm excited to try them with other things, but I'm gonna show you what it looks like with the cardigan on. But I wish it had pockets. That's the only thing. Does it have pockets? No, no pockets. I wish it had pockets. I'm surprised it doesn't. Um, so, like I said, if I wear it like this, maybe not the most flattering way to wear this. Um, let me back up so you can see. But if I just wear it like this, probably not the most flattering. And you can see how the arms are now. Maybe a medium would have been too short in the arms. I like it to have this drape to it. So, um, this is how it looks better like this. So if I put it to the sides, I think it looks better. But if it's like this, I'm not the most flattering. Yeah, that looks better. Or then they also show it like this, which I don't know who wears their sweater like this, but it looks cute. Like this looks cute. I don't think I could keep my spit, but have to go like that. So maybe just to wear over my shoulders like this, like this might be the best way. But I do like the drapey nature of the knit though, and it's more like a rich cream color. It's very creamy. And then I thought the perfect bag for this would be that Laura Piana, the veil bag, because it's a little bit casual looking, 
but still a bit of structure at the same time. And then it has a more um, or less delicate looking leather to it. So I thought that would be perfect. I don't have that bag. But I've had this other bag that I'm looking at. It's more casual shape, um, but still a bit of uh, structure at the same time. So and this one seems to be coming back into fashion, or at least I just noticed that they seem to have more now. And it's the PS1 Medium by Princess Cooler. And I got this one many years ago. Gosh, how many years ago? A long time ago. And I got this on sale. So I think I got it for under a thousand at the time. And I looked at them recently. I think they were like maybe three times the price now. So I really like this size. It's a great size. Nice shape, just tailored enough, but not uh, formal at the same time. And I like the gold accents. So until I get that Laura Piana bag, until if I get that bag, um, that would be a really great addition to something like this style. But for now, I think this one's a really nice one. I do have a little wicker bag too that might be cute. Hold on. My husband got me this last year. Yeah, last year. And this is from Jay McLaughlin. I think one of you mentioned that brand before. Very nice clothing. I think that's another probably quiet luxury-ish type brand. Really nice quality. Um, very timeless pieces as well. So this would be a nice casual alternative to, to that bag. Smaller though. I mean, I think a cell phone and keys and a lipstick maybe would fit in here. And this cardigan works really well with these Kate jeans. I don't remember. We've seen them since I got them. I think I may have featured them once or twice. I still love these. They're the Danielles, and you can see how long they are as well. I thought I'd show you how this looks with denim as well. Definitely a lovely summer cardigan with this drapey cotton fit to it. And I think large is the correct size for me, even though it is oversized. It's supposed to be oversized, so I wanted to lean into the oversized. Another item I picked up, I talked about silk uh, shorts. Because in the summer, I like to wear shorts, but I don't have any silk shorts. I thought last year when we went to Italy, I thought I need some silk shorts for the summer because it would just be really convenient in terms of washing, hand washing, especially if you're traveling and then hanging dry, silk dry so easily. And plus it takes a very little space. In fact, I was just talking to someone who's traveling for two weeks and I mentioned Silk clothing is the best to travel with because it's so easy to wash and hang if you don't want to carry a lot of clothes and it's very light. So love silk, especially for travel. Um, doesn't seem very practical, but I wear my silk pieces on repeat. I just put them on the gentle cycle in the machine and then I hang dry them and they're just fine. Um, so these are from Anna Faye and I talked about them before. They are uh, carried out something in Badger, Wolf and Badger, I think now. And their sizes do run small. Yeah, small. So I take a size large and I'm like a 28 waist, 29 maybe. They're definitely created more for the Asian market, but I got these in large and they were perfect size. So these are the sand washed silk too. So they have that like suede like feel to them. And you can see they've got pockets, but they are on the shorter side as you can see, but I'll style them up maybe with this sweater. You'll be able to see how long um, the sweater actually is compared to some shorts and how short the shorts are because they're not like long shorts So we've got here the Anna Faye cargo shorts and I think they come in like a cream color too And also they make a pant a black cargo pant which look really cute But I wanted to try the shorts first I told my sister to try the pants on in Hong Kong where she lives because sometimes they do pop-up shops there and she actually knows the owner. So, but I should buy these myself. And I put them with the Nini, Nili Lotan belt, which I think is gonna be like my clay to poke concealer of accessories because I want one in every color and I think it works with so many things. Funny, I wore this dress that I've worn for, I don't know, 10 years or so. And it wasn't until I wore this belt with it the other day that people said how much they liked the dress. I've never gotten compliments on that dress before until I wore this and I think I got three or four compliments on their dress. I think it was because of this belt. Only thing is it was really snug getting in the belt loops here with the belt. So it just barely fits, but I'm gonna try that sweater on. Okay, when I wear the sweater with the shorts, I think that it's actually the right size. I think with the billowiness of the dress and this extra fabric didn't help but I think with something more trim like this, I think it works really well. Again, I wish there, that's the only thing I wish about this is that there were pockets. I don't know why they didn't put pockets. It's not like there isn't room for them, 
but I wish they had put pockets in here. And I understand that this is done in other fabrics as well, like cashmere's. I have the tag here still because I wasn't sure, uh, but I think I'm gonna keep this. I think it works well with shorts. And then I was sent this by Shantikai. Thank you so much, Shantikai, for sending this. I really, really wanted to try it. And I kept looking and I thought, I'm gonna wait for sale. But they sent it to me. So again, thank you for sending it over because I love the gold line. It says, we are excited to gift you the experience of 24 karat gold serum in 10. This right here, our latest addition to the gold collection, the luxurious gold collection. And this was the uh, line that I mentioned in my Quiet Luxury Beauty because there was gold in it. And it's a gorgeous bottle. And Lisa from Shantikai, thank you so much. She sent me a little video of her talking about it and how to use applicator because there's a little um, mechanism there. So it pops up like this, but if you open it like this and then you squeeze, not squeeze, but you apply pressure, it puts the exact amount that you need in the dropper and then you use it like that. So I haven't actually, ooh, it's fluid, just so you can see. And I can see that there is a golden something in there. Oh, it's lovely. Feels very smooth on the skin. Like the surface of my skin feels really smooth right now. I love the gold line. It's so good. Discover the power of gold vitamin C. So if you use vitamin C, there's vitamin C in here. Ultra potent botanicals, innovative peptides. Love the peptides. My mom said, I want to try something that's peptides. And hyaluronic acid in one amplified complexion cocktail. So yeah, thank you so much. I can't wait to try this. I Like I said, I've tried everything in the gold line. I cannot recommend it highly enough. As I've mentioned, I couldn't remember the last time I got a facial, but my husband recently treated me to one massage, a facial, nails. So the esthetician used Tata Harper products, and I know many of you have tried the products, but I haven't really delved that deeply into that. I've tried a couple of things, and what I remember is that botanical scent that comes along with it. I do love that, and it reminded me um, when she was using all the products. But she did mention that my skin was in really good condition, especially for my age. I think if you saw my posting, she had said, could have been marketing, but she said I had the skin of a 29 year old, as you know, I'm over 50. Um, so she said, whatever I'm doing, keep doing it. And I was like selling her on the Shantikai gold line because it's so good. But she did mention, we talked about brightening and how important that was in my routine. She suggested I try this. This is the Tata Harper Concentrated Brightening Essence. Uh, I have already used this, but I do want to show you the box because it's quite the experience opening this. Um, it's heavy duty too. Can you see there it says, sorry. It, there you go. Let's meet the supernaturals. The forefront of green technology creates the front line of transformative treatments, hyperpotent. There's the hyperpotent again. Hyperpotent naturals deliver multi-targeted results to achieve benefits that are exponentially more powerful than nature or science alone bottle is gorgeous except i'm afraid i'm gonna break it so it looks like this and i've used on rotation i've used the brightening essence by chantikai their gardenia gardenia brightening essence i've used the chanel blanc i think it is their brightening essence and i've also used clay de pose which is those three are very good and so i wanted to try this something different um let me know if you've tried it but it's really beautiful and you can see in there it's a more fluid very fluid kind of um, consistency. It is glass, so I'm so afraid I'm gonna drop this and break it, but um, yeah, let me know your experience with that. So I ordered, I think I featured it. It's a blush by Chanel, the stick blush. It came without one of the parts on there at the bottom, so it was not a complete packaging. So I quickly emailed them, I used it for that video, but I emailed them and let them know that it was, uh, there was something wrong in terms of the manufacturing process. Uh, just the packaging and I said I can send you a picture and return it and they said no not a problem Let's just go through the information and then they sent me another one I've decided I want to request these fabric bags when I order because you can request the Signature packaging I think it is or the fabric bag and I do like that. It's a Chanel on there. It's really nice um, so for packing and things like that or if I want to just separate items in my purse I can use that. It's actually a bag. I would reuse some of the ones that come with other products I wouldn't reuse, but this one, I would reuse this. Uh, but this is the Le Beige Healthy Glow Sheer Color Stick Blush 21. Oh, so it was missing this part. I don't know what happened, but this little cap on the one that I got was missing, and I don't know, because it looks like a one, is it one component? Oh no, it's like a little 
button that they put on there. Um, so this is the color. I really liked it, but it's for more, um, it's for a more sheer kind of blush. It actually exposes the skin underneath as well when you apply it. So I have the other blush on right now, but I picked that. I didn't pick it up. I got an exchange for it. No, I didn't even exchange it. They just sent me a replacement one. And then, oh yeah, I'm gonna do a little shopping too. So maybe I'm gonna go to Laura Piana. Oh, I am looking at their bag, the bail bag. I don't know. Let me know what you think of that. I love the shape of it. Actually, I showed it to my mom too, and she liked the structure of it because it's like a bucket bag, but not really. It doesn't have like the gathered parts of a bucket bag. It's more like a bail, uh, but this one has fabric, like webbing on it, fabric webbing. I'm not sure. I feel like that would collect dirt. I wish it was leather. That's the only thing. But um, let me know what you think of the bag. I'm looking at the white one and then there's like that um, cognac or like a rich brown shade. Um, but Eastem Cosmetics sent over something. I tried their, it's like a contouring palette. Like shape, was it face shaping? Something like that. I really liked how it was uh, like different uh, like an ombre of different shades. Does that make sense? No, that's not different shades. <laughs> it's like ombre different degrees of the same shade. Yes, something like that. But it, you could really blend nicely with that. Um, and also their matte eyeshadow palette. So they sent over this. So thank you so much to Isem for sending this over. Their products are very, very nice. Oh yeah, so then let me know if this is quite luxury or not quite luxury. I don't know. You'll have to let me know your thoughts. Oh yeah, and there's also a Celine bag that I really like. I'll put a picture here of it. It's beautiful, but I don't, I think I need something more casual. Um, but this is the Isim Artistry number no. nine palette, and it's a blush palette, so very excited to try this. Ooh, look at all the blush tones in there. I see this, like, there's a cooler tone. There's something, it's coming across as more, like, light on camera but um this is more like a coral tone then we have something that's kind of in between which i think might be the best for me and then we've got something that's like almost a reddish tone and then this purpley tone so again you have a wide range of uh shades that you can mix and match blend i'll probably end up at least with three of the shades if not four <laughs> i think i can work those all in there i love blush so excited to try this Truck pulling the trailer has engine or some kind of issue. Oh no. It's brand new, so you have to switch the truck out. Oh no, so it can be delayed? Yep. Okay, how much longer? Do you know? At least two hours. Okay, well, two hour delay on the truck. Um, what's that? See, I was already not picking up the phone. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, the garage is all clean and ready for the car. But when it does arrive, we'll show them a little, maybe like an inside tour of it. That is it for today's video, so please take care of each other, stay well if you enjoyed this video. If you learned something, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe.